Hi everyone, welcome to Gem Kim. Now today's video is on heterocyclic compounds and this is new topic in the channel. This is for BSc second year syllabus. Now before starting, already many videos are uploaded in channel. You can watch it. I will give the link in the description box as well as the i button present above this video. And if you are new to Gem Kim, do not forget to subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon for regular updates. Now let us start. So today's topic of discussion is structure of pyridine. Now what is pyridine actually? This pyridine is actually the benzene with 1 CH being replaced by nitrogen. So we can say that the structure of pyridine which we know is completely analogous to that of the benzene and it is related by the replacement of CH by nitrogen. That is this CH is being replaced by nitrogen. Now certainly there is some key differences among them. So what are those? In case of benzene, if we consider, then we can see that benzene is cheer shaped. Whereas in case of pyridine, there is a departure from perfectly regular hexagonal geometry caused by the presence of heteroatom. In particularly, the heteroatom responsible for this is nitrogen and there is presence of shorter carbon nitrogen bonds. Now, another point of difference is that if we consider Benzene is neutral, whereas for pyridine, it is basic in character and its properties. So why this is so? Why benzene has no acidic or basic properties, whereas pyridine has so? So let us see. Now, if we consider about this, the replacement of this hydrogen in the plane of the ring with an unshared pair of electrons, which is present in nitrogen, Likewise, in the plane of the ring, located in an sp2 hybridized orbital, which is present here and not at all involved in aromatic pi electron, which forms the sex state, that is six electron configuration. It is this nitrogen lone pair, which is responsible for the basic properties of pyridine. And that's why we see the basicity of pyridine. Now, if we see the last point of difference, that is, if we consider benzene, there is no dipole moment, whereas in case of pyridine, there is a strong dipole moment and traceable to the greater electronegativity of nitrogen compared to carbon. So if you want to understand what is electronegativity, you can watch the videos of periodic properties. I will give the link in the description box as well as the i button present above this video. Now, what ways required to determine the dipole? So let us see. If we try to draw the resonance structures of pyridine, then we get these structures. And as you can see, in the last three structures, we are getting positive negative charge separation. And these are two KQ structures. So if we go deeper into these details, then we can see that one, two are the KQ structures, just like benzene, three, four, five have charge separation. So we can say that the electronegative nitrogen causes inductive polarization mainly in the sigma bond framework and additionally stabilizes those polarized mesomeric contributors in which nitrogen is negatively charged that is if we consider here there is a mesomeric stabilization in 3 4 and 5 and which together with contributors 1 and 2 which are strictly analogous to the kq contributors to benzene represent the pyridine so here we can see both inductive effect as well as mesomeric effect altogether. The polarization due to inductive and mesomeric effect is occurring in the same direction. As a result, there is a permanent dipole moment starting from up portion towards the nitrogen atom. Next, if we consider, there is three types of positions. One is alpha, next is beta, and the last one is gamma. The polarization resulting from inductive and mesomeric effects are in the same direction in pyridine and this results in the direction of dipole moment towards nitrogen atom. This means that fractional positive charge will be present in alpha positions as well as gamma positions. As we have observed in the previous diagrams of resonance structures that is positive charges comes in alpha positions and only gamma positions not in beta positions. As a result of which it is because of this general electron deficiency at those carbons Pyridine can be referred to as electron poor or sometimes 
pi deficient. Now, if we go to a comparison in order to understand that there is a pi bond involved, prime framework involved, as well as sigma framework involved, then we need to consider a comparison with the dipole moment of piperidin. Now, what is piperidin? Piperidin is just same like piridin without a pi bond. So, this is wholly gaining its dipole moment only due to induced polarization of sigma skeleton. And this gives an idea, gives an idea that there is an additional polarization associated with the distortion of pi electron system in case of pyridin. So these are the important parts to be discussed in the structure of pyridin. Hope this was helpful. In the next video, we will deal with structure of pyrrole. So do not forget to like, share, subscribe and comment.